Today we are at Finco El Pilar, about to do the Cerro Cucuruchu hike. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 10 kilometer hike up this, through this kind of rainforesty jungle. Side note, there's a goat there. Hey goat. So one thing that this place has is um, some pools. Um, I think it's kind of natural water down from the mountain that they use. And you can just go swimming here. So that could definitely be pretty useful after the hike because I imagine it's going to get quite hot. But yeah, it's all natural mountain water, which is super cool. I imagine it's also pretty cold. As always, we've come early and are absolutely the only people here. You might have seen from the early bit of the video, we almost thought we couldn't get in because even though it opens at 7 and we got here about 8.30, the gate was locked up and closed. The taxi driver got out because he was concerned and they opened the gate for us. So, so we're excited. Breakfast sandwiches. We bought breakfast sandwiches from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> it was the only place that was open with sandwiches apart from Burger King. Let's go find some birds. Sweating buckets, it's like oh, it's literally a rainforest, so 100% humidity. Beautiful, though. Very beautiful. About a quarter of the way, how are you feeling? Brilliant. Very good, actually. It's very sweaty. So, 
We are about halfway up our little climb. Mm -hmm. It's been so beautiful so far. We've only seen about three or four people. A lovely little dog back there as well, which is really cute. And yeah. there's this whole camping area, which is completely empty, kind of unsurprisingly. They've got toilet facilities here. It's pretty beautiful. I think it's it'd be so cool staying up here. So there's like little cabins, I think, that you can rent out, as well as camping. It'd be so much fun. Now time for our breakfast from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Still warm. Yeah. The finest of <laughs> Guatemalan cuisine. As you might be able to hear, we you can hear a lot of birds, but we, <laughs> we haven't been able to see that many. You've basically seen none <laughs> because you're blind. Um, True. I've seen I've seen one which I think might be a warbler <laughs> with a really bright red chest and he was very pretty and then we saw some funny little like like quail type little ground birds so we'll find out what they were that would be very nice I bet you've seen a squirrel a dog and a horse <laughs> pretty good <laughs> yeah but just listening to the birds has been amazing mm. yeah. and as we go up it gets a lot colder as the sweat gets colder as well. I think we might already be in the cloud. Mm. I was basically vertical for a bit. It's embarrassing. And if you want to see the view, whoa, check out the view. <laughs> moved away and we can actually see some view. Look at that lovely top of the hill and there's a big lake that's very exciting.
So we are at the summit after about how many hours? <laughs> well, we left at like four nine, about three and a half, four hours. Mm-hmm. Um, Quetzal count zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no exotic bird scene. <laughs> But at right. the top, thanks to Steph's keen eye and then bringing the drone out, um, smoking volcano account, two. <laughs> Amazing. The clouds, just, we came up, you probably saw the shot, and it was absolutely just white out. We were in the cloud. And then suddenly we we're getting some peanuts out. <laughs> and then I looked up and I was like, what? <laughs> it's all gone. Uh, it's amazing. It's so worth it. I mean, yeah. the hug itself is brilliant anyway. Yeah. Um, again, after like, the first quarter, saw not a single soul. Yeah. Um, so worth bringing the drone as well. It was so much fun to fly. It's the height I've ever flown it. Um, this is the highest I've ever been, actually. I think we were just discussing. I've never been higher than this. Yeah, so this 2,600 something, something like that. Yeah. 600 meters. Let me check. So elevation gain 1,084 meters. Mm. So the top elevation was 2,687 meters. Yeah. So the highest I've ever been, and a really good warm-up for us before we try and tackle the um, Catanango volcano in a few days, hopefully. Yeah, which is um, higher. M- like almost 50% more elevation gain but actually less yeah less distance this is 15 kilometers and I think a Cachanango is less than 10 <laughs> the last 20% <laughs> of this hike was hard it was just straight uphill but yeah. worth it when you have views like this it's been yeah. pretty amazing I'm just really looking forward to a very nice hearty meal when we get back down so we're going to head back now we're not going to film that um hope you enjoyed yeah bye